Hey React developers, today we are diving into essential techniques for building robust and maintainable React applications. This video contains the following topic. Passing JSX as children and React props validation. Get ready to build flexible and data-driven component that syncs. Whether you are new to the React or looking to refresh your knowledge, this video is for you. So, let's get started. Namaste. Welcome to Bit. Science. Unlock the secrets of life and technology with our comprehensive biology and cumbersome science education. Okay. Today, we will learn how we can pass JSX as a child to another component. So for that, we will create a separate child parent relationship. So, so we have parent child relationship. So let's go to the parent. Okay, this is parent. If you remember, we have added clock as well. So this is parent. This parent has the child component as well. So what we'll do, we will uh, pass our JSS means whole JSX. So what is the JSX thing? This return, what you're doing, right? This whole return is the part of the JSX. I was able to pass a few value or a few object of that. So the next question is, can we pass the full if inside this? Yes, we can do that. How we can do that? With the through component. For that, what we'll do, we will create a, I will not end this statement because every component need to end. We will end inside here. And inside this, you can pass your data. So these are vehicle component and let me change every bit of just there and then gin and let's say body well say red and gin send some numbers random number vehicle like this so this is vehicle and what I will do I will create inside this will create vehicle itself then I will and this vehicle and now what I need is um, yeah the another car so let's say I have a car need another car as well car component I need car here I will add car this table will not have all the constructive thing it will only have some condition base so what it should have I'm making this a function component and this should have some value uh, like this name vehicle name is this dot box dot name name I will add or engine this body type I guess uh, that should be body color same parameter you have to use here if I have a car so I am passing this car inside the car a vehicle so car will have name I will say Honda then we have uh, engine I can I can uh, instead of that I can just share whole uh, plate inside here so let's say this dot state dot uh, yeah that's that's it what I will do I will add like this and this whole whatever is there in here that becomes the attribute so instead of writing everything inside here like this you can also do like this by using the spread operator so no need to write multiple times you need to close this card so let me add that in our arrow. this import will have vehicles from this vehicle so if you go to your page you will see okay I have to identify which is my data vehicles vehicle will have cars cars will display this name so I will add h2 cars details instead of writing component I will make it function this is function let's say this is vehicle 1 I will add all my details here itself so name is cover this on the on the year engine engine should have equal symbols here Audi car space then equals to red I guess that's it you can also pass more value in params or just like this way I am not using this constructor way so that's why I'm avoiding this remove this whole part we yeah, are this is still working so car is there and vehicle is there so let's see the output yeah yeah so you can see car detail which has vehicle name Honda vehicle engine and vehicle so this is a whole div I am passing from one component to another. So for that what I did is I have created a function. Function is iterating the childs. So this is an object. You can have any your own name object. 
this object is spreading here so whatever you are mm, giving so it can be car it can be any other let's say you want to give bike also okay you can have multiple component you want to pass so this way you can pass the data so right now bike is not there so what i will do i have to create same bike like this and car i will take copy and paste like car bike and inside i have to change the name you have to because it has to be exported the same bike details vehicle name vehicle that is the same let me check the errors no errors now go so for both our car detail i have to the do some modification minus it. what is happening is i'm calling the same but i'm using this different page so now it should work like not updated yet yeah you can see my details okay the next topic is about prop react prop validation so vi prop validation it's the tools for developer to avoid unexpected bugs so we we are now familiar with props so props are read, read only values what if the read only value has different value like he, the developer or the user what uh, one wants to expect that is not the correct value so they should one they should have a validation which checks that value is true or false or that value what he is requesting is correct or not for that we have a react prop type they call it prop type okay so this is this is not recommended means this is optional you can use this prop type or you can avoid it but if you use this then the unexpected bug can be avoided so how to use you have to use it within your any component if you have a component i will go to my component i have created one prop type so this is a prop separate prop validation this is a component i have created which have some few data so i want to show you what are the prop prop type value can have so for that you need to use prop types just like we have react we have prop type this is a library itself in the node modules you can use the prop type this is inside the prop types value just like react is inside the react we have prop types the prop types will give you some additional validation so uh, by default if you want to use these are prop types if you want to use you can use by defaults value also so what you can use these are the inbuilt prop types data you can use this or you can use your you can create your custom prop type as well so for this, let's understand what is the default props value are there if you want if you have an array you want to pass some value and you want to check that you can check and there in the div wherever you want to use you can check this prop array full array so this is nothing but you are passing some parameter value and you are checking that is one way to understand this the other way to understand this prop type are if you have different data types let's say you have a array you have a boolean if a function number string you can add a condition that if that is valid or not so see this part this is a prop types this prop type will have prop array and prop type array is required or not so you can add a additional condition that so in form validation user wants to input some data in input field so that text field can have multiple string right so if that string is need to be checked you can add this condition prop type string or if that string or any text is a multiple comma separated so you can also add a array is required or not you can check that array is required you can also check the boolean validation so this is for function and this is for number so these are this thing and boolean these are for developer purpose you uh, you don't need to ask for user to check this you can check if that is true or not like this if that value is exist then you will you can have a return statement is true or false i will talk about custom property also so this is uh, useful when you are talking about form validation if you have a email validation okay so you can create your email validation like email so this is your email validation and you can have a function so whenever the email you want to send i will, I will write a simple now uh, function so let's say value one value some user is type so that value will be checked here if the value match so a certain pattern okay if you have some certain pattern 
that pattern equals to we have reg x right this is the way to check uh, add a reg x condition right you can add w plus all words you can add a condition like this this pattern is okay if that pattern is uh, correct or value, value matches if not matches what you have to do you can return an error statement so this error is a, a inbuilt class you can use this to send the value okay so this email if you want to use this within your div let's say you have a input tag and under that input tag i will give you one tag you have so let's say you have input tab type this is some value i don't require any value i can say any name for email if you place inside the div and you add the condition if email is it's a function because it's function i have written value is passed if value is true then only it will return otherwise it will not return it will not never be shown any so it will just so this way we can add our own custom property so that's all for today by mastering passing jsx as children and prop validation you will write more flexible maintainable and error resistant react application embrace these techniques to enhance your react development skills if you found value in this video consider subscribing to support our channel crowd and don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that you do can recommend to our audience before you go i highly recommend checking out our next video you can find the link in the comment section below thanks for watching this video and atidinath and you're being any out with bitside see you in the next exciting video